Hi everyone, it's Lori and welcome to my channel. I hope you are all doing well today. So I am back with another share and the first one is actually from Hobby Lobby. And we will go ahead and dump all this out, I think. Um, so I had went to the Hobby Lobby when we were in um, Gatlinburg, Tennessee. And they actually had, let's see, that doesn't go in there. No sales going on. <laughs> except for 40% off of the, what was the name of it, studio, uh, his and hers in the wedding section. Pulling these out, guys. These are my beads that I actually made. I had stuck them in there. Um, so, yes, I didn't get a whole lot of stuff, but I did get some stuff. So, these are uh, pearl trims. They are the flat back pearls. Uh, it was $7.99, so I got 40% off of that. And this is 3 yards, and they're 2.2 inches wide. So, we got us some nice pearls there. And then these little things, I'm not really even sure exactly what they are. But, um, yeah, it doesn't say. But, yeah, you could just put them on stuff. So, I thought those would be cute. They look pearly. And then I got some of these. Let's see. I think I got three. So we got those to use. They have, it's like the tool made into flowers with the little pearls on them. So I got three of those. And then, oops, sorry. Did I hit you guys? Oh, maybe I got four of those. Yep, four of those. And then I got two of these in pink. So these are like crystals. They were $2.99. Of course, I got them for 40% off of that. But I thought those were really pretty. And then I got two in the clear. And they're actually, yeah, the teardrop shape too. So, we got two of those. And then I got three of these feathers I thought were really, really cute. They have the bling bling on them and have a flower there. So, we got three of those. And then I got three of these, which has the, like, silver wire stuff around them. And then the pearl in the middle. So really like those. That's my receipt. And then I got two bags of these paper flowers here. There's 12 in each one. Really pretty color of pink. It's more like a blush color pink. And then a whole bag here. It's 1,500 count of gemstones. And it was $4.99 and got it for 40% off. Alright, so that was that. Now, which way are we going? Let's just go to this bag. I believe it's a thrift store bag. That doesn't sound good. Oh, yeah. Okay, I know what it was. Alright, so let me go ahead and get some of this stuff out. Make sure of what's clanking in the bottom. Okay. Got it. Got it, got it. Alright. So. Let's just set this right here. So I got this milk glass bowl here for $3.99. Absolutely gorgeous. Really good deal on that. Gotta wash it. I've got my other pieces, guys. I got quite a few other pieces that I bought. I did get... A big bowl that was in the pink milk glass um, and they're all in there I'm not sure if I'll do a video it's just so hard just bringing them back and forth and all that but I did get this one for $3.99 so love that um, and then I got some dollies here I don't remember what she charged me for these but I think she gave me all of them for a dollar so we have that one and then we have this one oh, let me do this so that you can see the outline of it better. Wouldn't that look cute over a journal? Or even as a journal itself, that would be cute. And then this one here. It's pretty big. See, it comes out to 13 inches here. Looks like a 13 by 12, something like that. Maybe a 13, 13. So we have that. And then I got this vintage uh, sheet. Actually has these beautiful flowers on there. So I got that. It's 
vintage shit back there. Oh, and then I got this. This looks like I can't really tell if it's supposed to be one or two. I probably should have. Okay, so maybe it's supposed to be two and they are just intertwined in each other. Let's see. Yep, they are all wrapped into each other really good. Let's see where this is going. Let's see if we can get them undone real quick so you guys can actually see them. Yeah, it may be two. Start down here maybe. Sorry guys, totally should have did all this untangling. Yeah, it looks like it's two. Oh, that's awesome. Ah, we got them. Yep, it is two. Aren't these just darling? So, this is actually going to be a decoration in my craft room. It's like they like getting tangled up here. There we go. So, yeah, those are really cute. So, there is one. And then here is the other one. Pretty much exactly the same. It looks pretty old too. Yep, it's possibly vintage, I'm sure. Awesome, so there's that one. Really pretty. So, I picked up those. Oh, and then I picked up this dog bowl dish for Bella. It's shaped like a heart in it, cute. And it just just put it on the cage. Um, like somehow. Yeah, somehow you put it on the cage. But anyway, I'll figure that one out. But maybe I should keep the instructions. <laughs> if not, it'll never get on there. Yeah, it tells us right here. So we'll definitely keep that. So, got that for her. Because she's always turning over her water. So, okay, the next thing was these two. And these were a dollar ninety-nine, And they look to be like ornaments for the Christmas tree. Yep, they are. Aren't they beautiful? Yeah. Of course, they will probably be decorations in my sewing room, I'm sure. Hmm. Yep, very pretty. So I got two of those. really like those and then I got this little bag here guys for $1.99 looks like it has different little rosettes in there yep all different sizes rosettes look at those isn't that cute and then that purple one very cute so yeah, so we have all of those, and then we have this little bag, excuse me, 
looks like we have some whatever this is just a little bunch of ribbon here with one of those pipe cleaner things wrapped around it so that's cute that could be used on something or just take it apart and use them as individuals those feel really nice there's a little butterfly in there it's like some kind of plastic and then we have these that's a pretty color and then some white ones how pretty a couple of pink ones red one look guys the itty bitty one she's itty bitty yeah so not too bad because i don't have a lot of these little rosetti things like this um i just have a couple so those will be fun 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 to play with okay what do we have that's next guys um okay probably do all the linens in one so i found this heart here it's pretty big if you guys can see it and it's out of that i don't know what you call this stuff but i know they have it at hobby lobby now it was 3.99 so it was four dollars but i'm thinking it's in the shape of a heart i'm thinking what i'm gonna do is um, actually wrap of course i'll take that off but wrap lace around it and maybe put a big bow on it and some bling and just have that as a decoration in my craft room so that was the thought behind that and then we went to where did we go to um tuesday morning didn't find anything really in crafting but what i did find was these little baskets and i know these are made like the ones that rachel made um i tried guys i cannot make them now this smaller one here which is let's see does it tell me the size of course it does not no so this one is seven and a half and this one is eight and a half um so two of these little baskets that we can use we could put lace in it we could put um i could take out my flowers handmade flowers that i made or not flowers bows and flowers actually and put them in here or i can use it on my desk as a scrap basket um but yeah so the smaller one was 5.99 the bigger one here was 7.99 but when i got up there the guy just hit 5.99 twice he said you get a discount today and i'm like i'll take it so love those little baskets and then i got this shelf it's like a letter shelf you know you hang it up and you put letters in there so what i'm actually going to do is chalk paint this with white chalk paint and distress it and then i will hang it up um in my either in my craft room or my sewing room as a decoration so i really do like that and it was four dollars it was 3.99 and then let's see irritated by that one irritated at myself is what I'm irritated at, and I'll tell you guys what I did in just a moment. And I'm sorry, but I'm having to grab and pick stuff up off the floor. I think I will save the. Nope, we can do it all in one video and be done. Okay, so um, first of all, um, went outside of Goodwill, and they had you know the little stands with like I don't know like brochures and stuff that's in it that's free. And the Goodwill a lot does give away their Bibles. They don't really sell them. And this Bible was just thrown out there on the shelf. Looked like it had seen better days. Um, it says Jesus is love. Rick and Janet. Uh, daughter Chris, Christine. Um, wicked means worthlessness. So I'm not sure when this was published. Um, but it has beautiful pictures in it and they went through and tabbed so someone spent some time with it the pages are super thin pages um, 
but yeah, so I picked that up, got it out of the weather. Um, yeah, so that's the Holy Bible Reference Edition. And then this one was out there as well. Um, again, look at that trash and stuff in there. Yeah, who knows. But I just couldn't leave them out there. Um, so we have this one. It says Ruby Web. Still has trash all in it. Um, this copyright's 1980. So she is vintage. So yeah, I picked this one up. This is Welcome to the Father's House. And there's some Bible verses. And this is 22801. So, yes, yeah, so I rescued these two poor Bibles from being outside. Okay. Now, on to this, guys. So, this is where I'm pretty irritated with myself. So, I found these two. And they were in a Goodwill. And they were $2.99 each, right? So, when I flipped this one over, I saw this right here. And it's not going to focus for you guys, but it says imports handmade in Italy, 90.92. So I googled the MC. It says MC right here, and this is in fact made in Italy. Um, so then I went on to look at that picture. So then I went on to uh, eBay. And one similar to this is selling for like 30 bucks. So at $3, that's, you know, a pretty good investment. But I think it's really pretty. And sure, I'm going to be using it for decor and not for reselling. Now this right here, I did this. These dinglings put the sticker of the price right there. So I tried to take it off without doing anything with it, and it just pulled the picture right off. So pretty irritated with myself right now, um, but I'm going to have to get over it. So this has the same stamp there, and this is 9516. I guess that identifies the painting. Um, but again, made in Italy. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, so for this one here, they also had the sticker there, but I took a blow dryer to it and was able to get it off without pulling the painting off. So these are gorgeous. Yep, love those. Um, oops. <coughs> Sorry. Sorry, guys. And then I got this huge tablecloth is what she said she labeled it as. Um, so I'm assuming that's what it is. And it was tablecloth $2.99 at a Goodwill. And... Let's look at this edges on this thing. And that, I believe, goes all the way down the middle. And then we have... I haven't even fully opened this up, guys. Look at that. So, and this thing is huge. Huge, huge. Oh, and it has that around it, too. So, yeah, gorgeous for three dollars goodness do you know how many covers that can make i mean this thing is like massive i'm thinking it may be a sheet and possibly not a tablecloth but anyway as massive as it is our dining room table actually has the sleeve in the middle and it comes way out. I bet that might cover that. So I'm not sure if that will actually end up being journal covers or something else. Now, my sweet husband has been looking at stuff for me. And he actually spotted this. So this is just a Vallis. And it was $0.99. Cents. Um, it's kind of a creamy color. But I like the holy stuff in it. Um, and then it has this blue down here. Which I also thought was really pretty. Um, so he spotted it for me. So we got that. They did have like four other ones, but the other ones had a price of either $1.99 or $2.99. Now, I don't know what the difference was, but I didn't even bother with getting the rest of them and going up and, you know, <clears throat> trying to get them all for $0.99, cents, which they probably would have done, but, you know, 
I just let it go. Alright, what else do I have? I have a mess around me. Okay, I'm going to save this for last. So, let me go over here. Alright, guys. Now, this stack. Um, I possibly <clears throat> paid too much for it. You probably think I'm crazy. Um, but look at all of these pink envelopes. That is like a huge stack of just envelopes in uh, two or three different shades of beautiful pink. If you can see that. See how huge the stack is? Okay, so let me just measure it width-wise. It is four inches. Four inches this way of nothing but pink envelopes. $7.99, so eight bucks. Um, yeah, might have been crazy, but had to have them. Oops, let's see. Hang on, guys. I'm, I'm slinging envelopes. Oh, what a hot mess. Okay, I got me. Oh, I took the breath out of me. I bought the I Eiffel Tower while I was out. So this is actually like a Eiffel Tower jewelry holder. Um, yeah, nothing special. Just that I've been wanting an Eiffel Tower. Now these little things sticking on, I may or may not just cut them. Um, or I may leave them as it is. But again, I'm going to paint this white and distress it with spray chalk paint. Um, so yeah, so that'll be a decoration in my craft room. And then, at a Goodwill, I found this. Now, this is like some kind of porcelain or something. I think it was $1.99. And you can, like, put envelopes in there or something. Or you can put lace in there sticking out or something. But, yeah, it is porcelain. You hang it up on the wall. So, I thought that would be really cute. Um, and yeah, and it's already white and ready to go. So, we picked that up. And then I picked up this book right here, which is The Romance of Lace. Um, not very, very old, I don't think. I like this. I don't know what they cut out of. Excuse me, cut out of that. Let's see. Springhouse. Printed in Czechoslovakia. Aren't you proud of me? I was able to say that. And see, I thought it had a copyright year. Maybe I didn't see a copyright year. I thought I did. Nope, I guess not. I just thought it was intriguing. Let's see. Did I miss a page? Maybe. Nope, it just says uh, copyright the Wallace Collection. That's all it says. These pages feel amazing. Um, but yeah, so it's just naming Brussels lace. It's just naming the different laces. The lace of the Low Countries. Look at that. How pretty is that? Um, Italian bobbin laces. Can't say that word, so I'm not even going to try. But yeah, I just thought this was intriguing. Oh, the laces of Italy. Nice. Alright guys, I'm going to pause you guys. I'll be right back. Okay guys, sorry about that. <laughs> I am so irritated with myself. <sighs> so the one time I decided to actually turn the notification sound off on my phone, I had put it in my... Um, in my what do you call it in my calendar to send me a reminder that Heather over at Rose Hill Paper Cottage was putting her handmade embossed paper in today at 1 p.m. <laughs> and of course I realize it and look over and it's 101 p.m. go over there I was able to get a couple that I wanted but one that I really really wanted I missed out on guys it sold out <laughs> Okay, I don't pay attention much. So this, guys, is the romance of lace. I can't do anything but laugh. It just seems to happen to me every time. Oh, sorry about that. Okay, so, um, let's see. So the last thing, guys. This is the last thing, and I am going to move a little bit of this stuff here. I'm just going to put it in our little basket here. And then put her up later. 
Okay. So, there's that. Alright, so I went to one Goodwill, and so I saw this hanging up, and, oh, I forgot this. Let me show you this right quick. Because I want the last thing that I show you to be like the grand finale. Oh, look at this, guys. This was actually at a thrift store. And this is the, and it is, this this box is vintage. So this is the vintage paper. So it's not ones you run out and buy like right now. Um, this is the 20-pound watermark, 500 sheets. And this is the um, Southworth. Fine business paper, 25% cotton. I absolutely love this paper. Now, it is big, but I can cut it down if that's what I choose to do. Um, it's 8.5 by 14 inches. And, guys, it's completely full. And I did pay $8 for it. But I absolutely love this paper. Even though it's only 25% cotton, it feels like linen. And I love it. Um... Yeah, and this paper is, like, super expensive. So, yeah, did get that. So, all right, we showed you that real quick. So, this spotted my eye, guys, and at first I thought that it was a wedding dress. Well, turns out it is not. It is just a huge, huge veil is what it is. But look at this applique on the edges. And it, guys, is around the whole thing. And then we get into more and higher up. And when I say this thing is massive, it is massive. It goes on for days. Let's see. What is this? Okay. Yep. Guys, I'm all wrapped up in it. Hold on. It's a struggle. Let's see. Um, okay. So. Yeah. So it is all twisted up somehow. Okay. There we go. Alright, so this is the way it snaps, and it looks like it's actually two pieces, and this would have snapped onto and velcroed onto the wedding gown, one like on each side, um, or maybe it just wrapped around, okay, so we do have guys, this is too much to handle, so this is what is going straight down the back. And that other that I showed you goes all the way around the bottom. So, yeah. It just seems like it goes on and on for days. And days and days and days. And I do have it twisted and doubled over. So, yeah, this thing is massive. So, yeah, I cannot wait to get these appliques cut out of this. And then, of course, we have all this material that we can use, too. So, this thing, guys, was only $19.99. And when I got up there to pay, um, I didn't realize it because I had a couple other things, too, until I got to the car. And I actually, because I did put myself on a budget, um, got to the car and was looking back over my receipt. My husband was fixing to um, pull out but looked at my receipt and he didn't even ask me. It was Wednesday, and it was Senior Day. I mean, guys, look at all of these appliques. It was Senior Day, and he had actually given me a senior discount, which was 10%, so I paid $14.99 instead of the $19.99. Oh, yeah. Absolutely stunning. All right, guys. Thank you all so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. Not sure when this video is going to go up. Might be in a day or two. Today is Saturday. It's back to work tomorrow. I'm so excited. <laughs> Not. But anyway, yes, uh, I guess it's just time to get back in the routine. Wow. Zers. Gosh, I love that. Okay, yeah. It's time to get back in the routine of things um so yeah i'm gonna do more filming today i am excited about that 
Um, oh, I forgot to show you guys these. Oh, I'm such a dingling. So let me show you guys these real quick. Let me get this over here so it's not on the floor. Um, I got some postcards. Now, this was in an antique shop, and most things in there were like way, way overpriced. Now, this says mixed postcards, uh, 26 cards, early 1900s, $25. That booth was half off, so I got them for $12.50, which is good because I love postcards, but I don't like paying over a dollar each. Uh, typically, I don't unless it's something really, really special, um, and that's just me. So this right here is a uh, prayer card. Let's see if there is... Um, I do not see a date on it. I don't know if prayer cards come with dates. Um, yep, not sure. But we have a prayer card there. And then we have this card there. I really like this one. When we're together. Gorgeous. Love these. Absolutely love postcards. And then this one. Now it's got some of the um, edging here going on it. But these I'm thinking I'm going to scan in. Um, and I'm also going to go through my other antique ones. And probably scan them in um, as a digital in my Etsy shop. Oh, that's not that one. That's that one. And then we have this one. Greetings for you. How pretty are those? It is no crime to kiss in this town. <laughs> and then we got this one. Kindly greetings. Joyous Easter. I do need to go all through mine as well. And kind of separate them from... Um, you know, into either seasons or holidays or what have you. These, I like these too, but the other ones to me are more special. The first ones that I showed you. But I do like these where they have cities and buildings and things like that. I do love that. And I love these. This is Cincinnati, the War Shrine. That church, how gorgeous is that? And then this one, I love these kind. This is St. Paul, Minnesota, uh, Hotel St. Paul. And then that's all that is. That would be good for a journaling card. Um, and then this is some kind of swimming pool somewhere. And then we have this bigger one. Wishing you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Gorgeous. Yep, yep. So, we got those. So, now that is officially it, I believe. Other than, you know, like I said, the milk glass and stuff, which I am not, um, probably not going to show all that. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous how much I have. But anyway, I'll probably be hard-pressed to find somewhere to put it. So, that's officially it. Thank you all so much for joining me today. Again, I'm not sure when this is going to um, post, but yeah, it'll be an extra video for sure. Um, even though it's, you know, kind of long. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the goodies that I got. Oh, I got this too. Isn't that cute? And it has the days of the week. Oh, there was another one that was supposed to go with it. All I have is Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I wonder if I lost it or it didn't come with it. Well, we could skip the days of the week, right? Let's do it this way. Like November. Yeah, we could figure out some way to have it on there. Like that, maybe. That's cute. Yeah, so yeah, it looks like that other block's gone. Didn't realize that, but that's okay. It was only like a dollar or something. Alright guys, thank you all so much for joining me. If you have not subscribed, I hope you will consider doing so. I love you guys, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.